Hello everyone, Super Smash 77 here, and today I'm just going to give my thoughts on Capcom being for sale after my first impressions. Let's get started. So as you probably already know, I gave my first impressions on Capcom being for sale about two days ago, and I was really excited. But I've calmed down since then, and now I'm just going to give my thoughts on what I think should happen and might just happen. I've watched a lot of videos, so I know a little bit more knowledge now. Now if any of you come from my Instagram page, you should know that about... <coughs> Yesterday, actually, I posted a picture saying Nintendo has eight, 812.8 billion yen, and it would take about a billion yen to buy Capcom. Well, I actually realized I was wrong about that. It would probably only take about 3 million U.S. dollars to buy Capcom, which is significantly less. So that just gives Nintendo even more of a reason to buy them. So I'm mainly just going to be talking about Nintendo, but I will talk a little bit about maybe Namco, Sony, and a little bit about Microsoft. Uh, so I really think Nintendo should jump on this deal. It's really cheap, they have a lot of money, and it would give them so many good IPs. Phoenix Wright, Mega Man, Street Fighter, Marvel vs. Capcom would be exclusive, uh, because obviously they're not going to own Marvel. Uh, Viewful Joe, I mean, I really want Nintendo to jump on this, because they're lacking third-party support right now. I mean, they have Ubisoft, Sega, Capcom, uh, kind of. Uh, Namco, they have Nam uh, Namco. I, I really don't even know who else they have for third party support. Um, yeah, I really don't know. So, I really think they need to jump on this, and you know, they'll get a lot of good IPs out of this. Uh, and I really do think they have the money, they can spend a little bit of money on this. It's not going to take that much money to get them up and running. And what really hurt Capcom isn't their development teams, but their big wigs. Because, you know, like stupid ideas like on this DLC or not making new Mega Man games or not making new Viewful Joe games. They have to bring back their old IPs that everyone wants. I wouldn't even consider Mega Man old because he did get a game like, I don't know, seven years ago? Six years ago, maybe? Uh, I mean, they recently brought back Strider, which wasn't even on Wii U for some reason. And that's good, but they need to bring back even more IPs. They need to bring back Mega Man. They need to bring back Beautiful Joe. They have to bring back all these really old Capcom IPs that everyone knows and loves. I mean, I can't tell you how much I love Mega Man, and I wish they would just make a new Mega Man game already. And it's kind of sad, in my opinion, that they need the original creator of Mega Man to make a spin-off just so people can get a new Mega Man game. Or it's even kind of sad that they need Nintendo just to buy them so that we can get a new Mega Man game. In my opinion, that's really sad on Nintendo's part. <laughs> I th on Capcom's part, excuse me. That they need another company, or, yeah, another company to make a new Mega Man game. I mean, it's really sad in my opinion. Now, I also said I would talk about Sony, Microsoft, and Nemco. If Nintendo didn't buy them, I hope they at least buy some IPs, being Monster Hunter, Phoenix Wright, and Mega Man. If they bought those free IPs from Capcom, I think that would be fine, too. But uh, if Namco bought them, though, I would also be okay with that, because I think N Namco would do pretty well with them. And since Namco has been behind Nintendo, I think they would get a lot of exclusives. Uh, also, Sony. I don't want Sony to buy them, for a couple reasons. One... Uh, I want Mega Man in Smash Bros. I don't want him in PlayStation All-Stars. That's about it. That's the only reason. <laughs> Plus, I want Monster Hunter to stay on the Wii U. I want a new Mega Man game to be Wii U exclusive. Like, if Capcom was doing all right right now, I'm sure if they made a new Mega Man game, it would be Wii U exclusive. Or at least Nintendo exclusive. Exclusive, sorry. Uh, now, Microsoft. I actually highly, highly doubt Microsoft will buy them. And you might just be saying right now, oh, you just don't want them to turn into rareware. And you're right, I don't. But there's actually a good reason why they won't buy them. Uh, I looked it up, and it is extremely, extremely hard for an American company to buy a Japanese company. I, I know some people have been saying it's illegal, but it's not actually illegal. It's just extremely hard, and there's a lot of hoops you have to go through, so it's no easy task. So I don't even think Microsoft will bother, in my opinion. But Sony is a Japanese-based company, so it wouldn't be a huge hassle for them. But I honestly think Nintendo knows they have to do this, because they know they're lacking third-party support. They know that Capcom has a really a lot of good IPs, and they've shown interest in Mega Man. I mean, for Pete's sake, they've shown Mega Man better treatment in the last year or two than Capcom. I mean, they even gave Mega Man his whole, a whole month on the 3DS's eShop. 
I mean, the last thing Capcom did was for Mega Man was make a fan game official. That's it. That, like, took no work from them. And it was free on top of it. It didn't even gain them money, at least. I mean, I don't know what's wrong with Capcom. And I think this is what they needed, in my opinion. I think they need to be bought by someone like Nintendo or Namco. Because I don't feel like Nint I don't feel like Capcom's capable of making decisions anymore. I feel like they're capable of m doing things, like making really good games. I just don't think they're capable of making good decisions. And that's the main problem. If they just had better bigwigs, it, it would be so much different for Capcom right now. I mean... What really hurt them, like I said, was just not bringing back their old IPs and on just DLC, which is just a really, really stupid idea. I mean, if you ever become a game developer, never do that. If you're going to do DLC, maybe day one DLC, but never do on disc DLC. <laughs> because one, everyone hates it, and two, that will just lead to hacking. Trust me. I know the hacking community pretty well. I'm not a hacker myself, really, but they people will do that just to get free stuff even though you technically bought it but whatever uh and if you're going to do on this dlc you have to make the game really cheap so like uh mario the new mario golf game for 3ds that has day one dlc and it might be on disc but the game is cheaper than usual 3ds games so it makes up for the purchase cost which is smart Plus, I also think they did this just so they can get the game out faster, which is smart. But doing on this DLC when you don't have to is just stupid, especially when it's like a $60 game and then you have to pay even more for something that's already on there that you already bought. It's just not smart. And I've been rambling on a lot about on this DLC because I really dislike it. Uh, so yeah, that's all I really had to say. I really think Nintendo should jump on this offer. It's an amazing offer. I hope I wake up tomorrow and see... All over the news, Nintendo's buying Capcom, or at least making an offer, or buying Mega Man, or something. Please, Nintendo, just buy something from them. Just Monster Hunter, Phoenix Wright, and Mega Man, at least, if you're going to do something with them. Or Namco, even, like I said. I would not mind Namco buying them at all. Or even Sega. I mean, I don't know how, how Sega would do, but I would be okay with Sega. I just don't want Microsoft or Xbox. I don't want Microsoft, Xbox, Ubisoft, or EA. I don't want them buying them. EA, I don't think will do very good. Ubisoft, I also don't think will do very good with them. Uh, Sega or Namco, I think, would do okay with them. Namco better than Sega. But I think the biggest person who should buy them is Nintendo right now. I know this is probably the longest video I've ever made, but I really do like Capcom. And I want to see them be bought by someone who can make smart decisions for their company and make sure that we get a new Mega Man game. If the first decision of Capcom being under Nintendo is making a new Mega Man game, then you know the company will succeed. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's really all I'd say once again. Uh, tell me in the comments what you think about this. Who do you think should buy Capcom? And I'm Super Smash 77, and I'll see you in the next one. Over and out.